Tenth caller wins two walk-on parts in the summer blockbuster Super Collision 4. And go! Do you anything? All busy signals. We need more phones! Hello, you are the tenth caller. You just won the part! Great, I got through! I'm gonna be famous! All I need is your names. I'm Jimmy Gr This is my space phone. It's $80 a minute. Yeah, see, I, I will pay you anything, all right? We need that phone. You can't hang up. Don't touch my stuff. Hello. Hello. Oh, looks like we lost them. Too bad for Jimmy Rob because those walk-on parts included kissing the lead actress. All right, next caller. We were going to be famous. We were going to be so famous. We were going to be famous. <laughs> we were going to be so famous. Yeah, golly, kid, you got to snap out of it. We've been in tons of movies. It's no big deal. No big deal? Movies are great. Yeah, it was lying to make you feel better. They're the biggest deal there is! When is this kind of opportunity going to come up again? It's not like we can make our own movies. Sure you can. I've been in movies since I was a kid. I've got an idea. Let's make our own movie that we can star in. Wow, that's perfect. What should it be about? Oh, 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 this is Pet Project I've been wanting to make. It's about a blind school teacher. I know. Let's make it about an alien that eats brains. Yeah. Yes! Yes, brains, brains, brains. Obviously, we're going to play the heroes. But who are we going to get to play the evil alien? We open on a rain-swept highway. A figure approaches through the fog it's you playing a mysterious alien hold on is this one of those movies where the aliens try to take over the world because i will not perpetuate that stereotype no no let me finish you play a mysterious alienated young human girl a human how come i see you with a big future in human cinema yancy really but if you confine yourself to alien roles you'll either be a menace or the only alien on the human team which means you'll usually spend the whole movie on a computer. Hmm. I mean, humans play aliens all the time. But if you think you don't have the acting chops... I can play a human. Can you play a human who... Doesn't realize that her true love's been in front of her all along? Exactly. And has a brief yet passionate fling with a young bad boy who she knows is all wrong for her, but she doesn't care. Sure. Why not? Will I get to wear pretty clothes? The prettiest clothes you have. Or are willing to buy by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Make it 10 and you got yourself a deal. Craig? Hey, it's Jimmy. It worked. She thinks she's playing a human, but she's really playing an evil alien who's posing as a human. Yeah, she totally deserves this for what she did with the phone. And for drinking all my special milk. Here's the script. It's called An Hour of Thunder. It has tons of romance and deals with a lot of boy issues. I'm not memorizing all these lines. There. That's better. Well, let's change the title. How about Nancy's True Heart? You the star! <sighs> I really look like a real human girl, huh? Yeah, you're totally hiding that you're an alien. Uh, the government and military will never know. What? Why would they care? Oh, in case they watch the movie. <laughs> My antenna won't stay tucked. Let me help you. If anyone saw these, they would know you're an alien and try to fool you with your secret plans. What are you talking about? Jimmy, why are you filming this? Oh, just checking the light. Looks great. Hey, Craig. Ready to start? Shh. 
We have to be quiet so no one catches us down here. Ugh. Why does my character live in the boiler room again? I told you. You're so pretty, your character has to be poor. So everybody can root for her. Oh, that makes sense. Now, let's make some scary faces. Why would I make scary faces? To scare away all the other girls who want to marry Derek, too. Duh. <laughs> all right, all right. You're a beast. You're a king of the jungle. You're, you're... You look like you're gonna sneeze. All right, give me something here. That looks like your contacts are, are bothering you. I think I'm the actress here. Okay, um, how about we start small? Like a glamour shot of you shaking your hair up. Oh, oh, oh that's what I'm talking about, right? Now flop that ring Derek gave you, the one you're hiding from Gerald. Go ahead. Now eat this pasta. Why? Because you're hungry. I'm not hungry. But your character's hungry. Oh. Now eat it. Devour it. Oh, yes. Like it's a brain. Food. Brain food. What is going on in here? Huh? Oh. You kids know you're not allowed in the boiler room. I better see a pretty good reason or else you're going to be going to detention. I can't believe you gave my dad a part. If I didn't, he was going to shut down our movie. Besides, the camera loves him. I'm late for me dancing class with the walking tree of what are we? Cool. I better run. Hastius, away us. Uh, oh, what's wrong, you... Nancy? You look like you've seen a potato fairy. It's Derek. He's so perfect for me, but I have to listen to my heart. My true heart. Oh, no! Evil Lord Evilton! Ah, he's returned with much more power, and he's invisible. I can tell because I am the chosen one. That's not how the lines go. Oh, Yancey. The good actor views a script as an invitation to creativity. Have no fear, Nancy. I'm not only the chosen one, I'm also a cop from the future. But nothing he does makes any sense. Potato Fairy? Once I add the music, you'll never notice, okay? Check it. <laughs> la 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 la. La 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 la. la. Bum, 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 Wow, Jimmy, your movie is just as good as Tuts' one and only drama. I feel a little funny, Doc. Is everything okay? What's wrong, Doc? You can give it to me straight. Does this mean I won't never play football again? <laughs> no, Mr. Tuxikowski, it doesn't mean... I feel great! In other words, your movie's awful! Hey, wait till I have special effects, all right? you want to check out the new scenes I edited together? That is it. I cannot work with Dad anymore. Ooh, what is that? Can I watch it? Oh, oh no, no, it, no, it's, it's not uh, ready. I just it's put it together. Rough cut, rough cut right here. Good at all. I really look like a real human girl, huh? Yeah, you're totally hiding that you're an alien. Ah, the alien looks just like us. Ah! <laughs> Run or you'll be digested. Ah! My brain. The alien's eating my brains out of a bowl. No! Oh! Now, don't freak out. It's a really rough edit, and I'm not happy with the slime, so you might have to do this. I don't believe this. You creepy little creep. Nancy, wait. Look. Now, that's that scary face I was looking for. Hold on. I'm getting my camera. Forget it. 
you're never filming me again because I quit. Yes, you wait, our, our movie. You should have thought of that before you broke Nancy's true heart. Huh? What? It was the name of my movie. <laughs> Alien Audition 5, take one. <laughs> Roar! I've got you now. Awesome. Cut! So, not that I care anything, but did I get the part? <laughs> um... You said she could sing and dance. And I don't believe she knows kung fu. Trust me, she's good. You should have seen her in the zoo summer production of Hamlet. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. You'll find the right girl. Why, I had a heck of a time auditioning my female counterpart for... Golly's date. I'm Dolly. Thanks! Oh, wait a minute, I lost my page. Next! I am Dolly. Next! Hey, sis, can you give me a ride home? Sure thing. What the? <laughs> now that's chemistry. Of course, the studio took care of all the orthodontia. <laughs> wow, so how long did it take you to find her? Oh, a long, 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 long time. Well, that's too long. I hoped it wouldn't come to this. Look, we know you didn't want to play an evil alien. We took advantage of you, and that was wrong. I'm glad you realized that now. You know what else we realized? We don't have an alien because someone freaked out and quit. You owe us an alien. What? Well, can't you just call up one of your friends? Yeah, you all know each other, right? I think I know just the guy. People of Earth, it is I, Durzagon the Obliterator. Uh, over here. Hey. <laughs> oh, Yancy, you look every bit as beautiful as last time Durzagon see you. When you break up with Dersagon? Thanks. I see you've grown out your horn. Hmm. It's different. Thanks. You two must be Craig. Yes, indeed we are. So let's talk about the movie. You're going to love it. You play an evil alien who eats brains. That sounds like delightful romp. What character backstory? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Of course it matter. How does Dersagon find motivation? Dersagon should eat your brain for such flat characterization. And you, what you laughing at? Revenge, my favorite way of getting back at people. Okay, in this scene, you're at a human house for the first time. You're curious about this world, yet confident you'll find an answer to all your troubling questions. Okay, okay. Does it gone understand? Great. And action. <laughs> and cut. Nailed it. Next scene. Um, actually, we're gonna have to do that again. You didn't do any of your dialogue. I mean, great job. <laughs> Thank you. Does it gone have own ideas for scenes to shoot now? Well, actually, um, I'm very interested to hear those ideas of yours. Good. This is a nightmare. I've got to tell Craig that I'm bailing on this movie. Great news! I just went to the theater and pre-sold 10,000 tickets. Let me get it. Oh, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. This. What do you think? All right, okay, I'm good. Oh. 
Finally, does a gone get comfortable temperature in here, right, fellas? Ready for a big scene where does a gone smash rocks on your face? I go get rocks. They on stove. My face is too pretty to get smashed by a rock. Oh, Jimmy. You know what? I don't care, all right? I'm never talking to Yancey ever again. Kid, there's something we gotta show you. Sit down and take a good look. Wow, you're right. If I hold a grudge on Yancey for what she did to me and never make up, we're gonna spend the rest of our lives doing bad things to each other. What? I got no idea what you're talking about. The huh? point was, keep at it and you'll make a movie as great as this one. <laughs> How's Durzagon working out? Yancey, you have to help us. Is that water? Durzagon won't let us have water. What are you complaining about? I thought you wanted a really scary alien. Yeah, but not a really scary one. Yeah, see, we're sorry about what we did. Your movie wasn't that bad, either. Yeah, that scene where you tried a bunch of hats before your date really came out cute. It did. And that scene where you're pruning a rose bush and saying how it's like a relationship, that was moving. That touched me. <laughs> but if you help us, we'll make any kind of movie you want. No more crazy plots about aliens tormenting humans? No, no, no. no yeah. We promise. Yeah. Fine. Now let's go stop this alien from tormenting you. You guys ready? Josagon finished sharpening rock. It's heated almost to melting point. Bring your faces over. Okay, Josagon, that's enough. Leave these guys alone. Nobody tell Josagon what to do. What happened to you, Dursey? You used to be so sensitive. That before you tear Dersagon hearts out. Step on one, spit on other. Durzagon, these guys shouldn't suffer for what happened between us. Come on, we should talk. Nobody tells Durzagon what to do well, okay. We both know it would have never worked out. I'm green, you're covered in acid. But that night we danced in Moon Swamp together. With all the Gedorf Adorf screeching. It was a beautiful night. But that's all it can be. You have to follow your true heart. And I, Nancy, must follow mine. Nancy? <laughs> Nice picture, Jimmy. You know, that didn't turn out too bad. Oh, yeah. Not bad for a dumb chick flick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you think, Dersagon? Dersagon found a thrill ride of summer. One horn up. But person next to Dersagon too cool to laugh at any jokes. 